this crew, this guy coming from the left. So the hooves of the sheep are specially adapted for doing what they do. For the bighorn sheep and for the goats, the way their hooves are built, the hooves are kind of semi-circles. And the outer part of the hoof is the same material as our fingernails. But it's very hard and very thick. It's about a quarter inch thick. And it's strong enough that they can stand on a tiny little crack on the rock and support their weight on that outer part of the hoof. But the inner part of the hoof is soft. It's like a suction cup. Mm. So they can get traction just pushing their foot flat onto rock and using that suction cup effect. Now they can't support their weight that way, but they can still get traction to run across an area. So that's pretty cool watching them run and jump down that steep cliff face there. Mm. Yeah, here's the last, another one just jumped down, there it goes. They're very agile. Mm -hmm. What they aren't is very fast. Mm -hmm. So their top speed isn't all that fast. <laughs> That's why they got a normal daytime high in the summer is kind of 20 to 25. But we normally get one week of, you know, high 30s and two or three weeks of, you know, kind of high 20s but our normal temperature is low 20s. So not really. Mama's got some snow on her face. They are ugly with a capital U. Whereas these elk are gorgeous animals. No, we're going to stay on this side. From a safety standpoint, we could go across and it would be 30 meters without a problem, but was there one? Oh, now their bodies from the plants that they eat at high elevations. So they need to supplement, they need to find other sources of salt. In the summertime, we find them eating the salt out of the slopes. Areas where the soil contains a lot of salt. We call them salt lakes, and there's one right back by the road. And his antlers, just one branch. 
So he should still be with his mom. He should be out hanging with the bigger boys, but he's got mommy issues. He doesn't want to leave mom. Which is. Gather harems of 20 or 25 females. 